John, I, like everyone else, wants to know what's real, what's true, what's the structure of the universe, what's it all about. But sometimes I wonder, how do I know what I know? <laughs> do we have to roll this back one and ask very broad questions? What is truth? Is there an objective truth? How do we address those kinds of questions? With difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> um, you mean you're, 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 you're asking... When we think we know something, how do we know that we do know it? Yes, and, and uh, at what level do we know things? Are there any objective truths, or is everything a matter of our own interpretation of what we see? There are certain objective truths, such as the truths of mathematics. 2 plus 2 equals 4 is an objective truth, because it's true by definition. I mean, ultimately... Um, the system of mathematics is a is a definitional system. You define two as one plus one, and so on. So th those are objective truths. But everything else uh, involves our own interpretation. This is um, by everything else. I mean everything we we perceive. Um, this is the critical realist principle, uh, that the human mind is all the time interpreting. Um, when I see you as a solid object, and not just as the, what I can actually see, I'm interpreting memory. Is, 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 uh, I'm drawing upon memory of the past. Um, I've, I've found in the past that I go behind things and find that they were solid and so on. So interpretation is taking place all the time. And in religion, um, I would say that faith, by faith, we mean the interpretative element in our religious awareness. In our religious awareness, there is interpretation of our experience. And uh, this is faith. That is to say, it's not capable of proof. Um, it, it's how the mi our minds function and what we do. We interpret all the time. If that's the case, if we are interpreting all the time, that certainly reflects the neuroscience of, uh, of, of how we exist. Yeah. Should that make us more humble in our declarations of what we believe to be true about almost anything? I think it should, yes. Uh, well, that, that's a little scary. Well, yes, but then um, the more one thinks about things, the more scary they are. Don't you find that? Well, I mean, there is a tension, and even in science, between empiricists who would say pretty much what you're saying, that we better be very careful, we can only do observations, and those who say no, that's a very uh, 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 thin approach to understanding reality, that we have the capacity to understand reality in science mm -hmm. as it really is, as opposed to just the observations and the interpretation. Well, I think we can make literal uh, and objective descriptions of the physical universe, yes. Although even there, when you listen to the physicists, their, their, their language is either mathematics or metaphor. <laughs> and there's an awful lot of metaphor, isn't there? You know, when they talk about um, uh, strings, <laughs> they don't mean a, a, an ordinary literal string, it's metaphor. Yes. And, and physics is more and more relying on metaphor as it speculates. So if we have this uh, interpretative uh, aspect to us that is so critical to what we have, the more we go into things like religion, yeah. the more powerful that becomes. That's, yes, indeed, yes. So indeed, as we move uh, uh, up the, the, the social scale of, from science to social activities of which religion is one, the, the, the dangers of, uh, of our interpretation dominating mm -hmm. what that is, is very large and yes, should make us true. very skeptical. Well, How then can I believe anything, <laughs> especially in religion? Yes, well, ultimately it all comes back to uh, religious experience and, you know, the, 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 the transformation of experience. Um, 
in, in a very, very vivid way, which um, causes one to take a religious view. Well, I guess I'm out of luck then, because I haven't had one. No, I know. Well, that's just too bad. <laughs>